Good evening everyone, welcome to Grandma's Handbag. My name's Dean. Glad you can join us for this episode. Uh, we've got a vinyl finds and also uh, I just want to do a shout out to you all. But uh, this one definitely goes out to the VC. All of you guys, fantastic community. Um, you've given so much and uh, that's just what I want to pay a little tribute to and pay it forward a tiny bit so Grandma's Little Helper Yamazaki Single Malt Whiskey from Japan um, this is a non-age statement very cute little bottle isn't it um, and I think I'm, I'm finally coming around to this one the age statements are uh, getting really expensive out of Japan, but the non-age ones have their own little uh, bit of interest as well. You can sort of taste some oak cask, and I'm getting a whiny sort of um, uh, influence in there as well. Anyway, that's the uh, the little helper out of the way. Yeah, I, I think I've wanted to shout out to a few people for a while because... Uh, like I said, it's such a great community and, and I feel like I want to just just thank a few people that of late that um, I've really appreciated uh, what they've been able to, uh, you know, post up and, and what great little channels there are. So, yeah, as I said, my friend Morrissey, um, I think you're up to 150 subscribers now. He's showing <clears throat> great stuff. Uh, and as I said, that contest for your 100 subscribers about uh, showing some of the best VC channels is just a really, really good community idea. But anyway, I do recommend um, you check out uh, my friend Morris's channel. I'm going to put links down below for all of uh, these channels. Um, but my friend Morrissey has just got some showing some great stuff. Uh, there's even a, a, a tape. Uh, cassette community uh, episode just in the past couple of days with some fantastic uh, cassettes as well so my friend Morrissey definitely check out um, another one I want to shout out to very new not enough records um, Danny there it's a great channel he's showing um, I don't know it's really interesting he's sort of on a journey as a student of music and I identify with that I feel a bit like that as well you know um he's just you know shown his history and what he's moving into and um just tons of great records are showing up there's a really good folk episode Danny did quite recently of modern um folk musicians and that that's just great um you know, and his entry into um, uh, Tales from the Crate Andrews competition a while back was a really, really good entry and a great introduction to the VC. Very personal and, um, you know, really well, definitely worth watching. The whole channel deserves a lot more views than, um, uh, than you know then maybe is already the case so yeah just too many records uh, sorry no, <laughs> there's no such thing what am I talking about not enough records Danny uh, link down below check it out great channel um, also probably haven't shouted out to Kraken Vinyl we, uh, we've got Graham um, oh sorry Grebo69 anyway um, I Great channel, Graham. Uh, the sheer variety of, of stuff that you come come across, uh, it just always amazes me. And, you know, I love that Graham's cornering the budget market of uh, the VC, that some of the finds he, he finds are, are uh, you know, definitely budget-driven. But what I actually love is, is Graham is just so well versed in in music and across so much stuff that he's able to make a very very good case uh, and give a new insight into uh, things that you might flick past if you're on a dig so um a lot of great knowledge there and some real good passion um uh grievo 69 and look 
a man who um, made up a word that apparently I, I thought I was the only person that made up the word wodge uh, is always a big, you know, a big winner in my book. So yeah, <laughs> um, Grebo 69 um, Jeez, I always get the bloody numbers wrong. Anyway, Graham Kraken Vinyl. Check him out. Great stuff. Christopher Keebler, another one who deserves a lot more views than he gets. I just really enjoy Christopher's channel um, because every episode is, is just... I just It's a wow moment for me, you know, because the depth of the collection just knows no, no limits. I can't even fathom... Uh, how deep it goes is a man who's um, I don't know like uh, someone I aspire to be in terms of never having fallen out of love with music you can just see a lifelong uh, passion of collecting you know and as I get on in life you start to realize there's years where you're waxing uh, into collecting and and waning uh, in other ones, but this sort of passion seems constant with uh, Christopher Keebler. So, yeah, I always surprising and uh, just incredibly knowledgeable. Great stuff, uh, Christopher Keebler. Check it out. And um, what have I got? Uh, I've got I've got a couple more shout outs. Um, Ellie, Lisa. I think a lot of people know Lisa, but she is a fantastic. Uh, channel and VC member. I, I just love Lisa's infectious enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> you know, it, so many times it just pops into my head when I see a thing. Woo! Lisa, love your channel, love your work. Um, and if, if anyone hasn't come across her channel, again, it's down below. She's, she's across all strains of 60s and 70s, US rock, folk rock, country rock great great knowledge showing great stuff as well and and with that enthusiasm that just uh just makes me want to listen to whatever she's uh showing you know great stuff and lastly i've, I've wanted to do a, a special shout out to um to a few well not, not to i'll name some individuals but almost a, a genre of, of vcs and that is um and I hope this doesn't come across as uh, condescending because I really don't want it to be that way. I'm just internal awe for uh, VCs from, you know, is it Germany, is it France, it, it could be South America. VC members whose first language is in English, but they come on board to the VC knowing that it's predominantly uh, English speaking, but their passion for music and and their collection means that you they just have to share it anyway and i'm just in awe of uh, vc members i mean i'm gonna say stefan obscured by krauts great channel um you know real passion for his music there's dr robert uh out of i'm pretty sure out of france sonic mainliner X Junkie NL, um, Johnny from Grunge Finland, and who can forget the, the VC stalwart uh, Diana from Digging in the Crate? You know, I feel all your passions and languages is no barrier to that. So I just wanted to put a special shout out and thanks um, for for um, you know venturing deep and and letting your passions guide you. Really good stuff. Um, so yeah, VC, a heartfelt thank you. I've just been meaning to pay it forward or that for a while. So, um, with that in mind now, three quick records that I've picked up, slightly themed, a little, uh, few vinyl finds. And the first one is my first dig into the mid eighties of Dylan. So the theme is Dylan. Three recent records I picked up, and I'm just starting now to close in a few gaps in the collection. Infidels. Um, and the jury's still out for me on this. Look, there's some crackers. I'm going to say Joker Man is, is five-star Dylan. It is a corker, you know, up there with any of the best songs he's ever done. But, geez, the next track, Sweetheart Like You... Oh, 
Uh, look, is it too mean to say it's a bit of a stinker? I mean, it, it's it's pretty misogynist. It, it, uh, it makes me cringe, you know. Um, yeah, neighborhood bully, a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a religious allusion into that one as well. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, Union Sundown, interesting. I and I, I kind of like. Um, but yeah, look, I, I need more listening on this one. If anyone's a fan of this, and I think I've heard uh, Vinyl Boy Trigger, mate, you let me know what songs you're loving on this, and anyone else at all. If there's things I'm missing on this, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. But at the moment, it's sort of line ball. What else can I say about this? Great band. Um, Sly and Robbie on the uh, rhythm section. Very interesting. Um, always doing something interesting and always pretty rock solid. I love how light and feathery their sort of approach is in... But they still managed to anchor Joker Man. Um, great stuff. Mark Knopfler. Really don't mind his guitar on here. Um, used to it from Slow Train Coming. So that was good. And it was actually nice to hear Mick Taylor's guitar pop up uh, on the album as well. So yeah. Some redeeming features. But I, I, need, I need some more love. Uh, from you VC members about Infidels. Um, yeah. Second one I picked up was a new copy or a reissue of... Um, I think this was first issued 2012. Bob Dylan in Concert. Brandeis University in 1963. So this is full folky mode. Uh, seven tracks. Um, really only sort of six. Honey, just allow me one more chance. Talkin' John Birch Paranoid Blues, Masters of War, Ballad of Hollis Brown, Talkin' World War Three Blues, Talkin' Bear Mountain, Picnic Massacre Blues, and Bob Dylan's Dream. Now, May 19, May the 10th, 1963, and you can feel here that he is, you know, getting right near the top of his game. He is, he's got a, the audience eating out of his hand, more or less. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty convincing performance, I tell you what. All that said, though, it's almost, um, not clinical, but, um, it's almost too easy, if you know what I mean. And, and the reason I sort of say that is because... You can almost hear that there's almost no challenge for him anymore in uh, heading out with a guitar and a set of politically motivated songs um, and and wooing an audience because they're already in the palm of his hand, as I said. So, yeah, great document, very interesting, but almost technically too good and therefore somehow a fraction underwhelming <laughs> and if that's very critical it's um it's a bit unfair possibly but at the same time i find it a fascinating document compared to what would come one year later uh which is another side of bob dylan now i've always found this uh like it's it's a real favourite of mine. I could say it's above the times they are a changing for me. It's it's um you know, I, I think it's a very underrated album. I've really got a lot of time for this album. And um you know, I think compared to uh compared to this album where he's basically in the folk idiom here, you can hear with this one he's really looking to break out and the songs are a lot more personal they're a lot less um he doesn't draw a moral line in the sand on these sorts of songs he's happier to let a story play out with no great resolution or message so far so 
you know, the title is a great indicator of what's what's in store. It really is this other side, this more personal, um, less certain and happily so side of, of Dylan. Um, I love the humour in this album. There's a lot of humour to me. Motorcycle, Motorcycle Nightmare, I think is a brilliant track. Absolutely um, riveting. I can hear it. I know the way it's going to go, but it doesn't stop me from laughing at it. All I really want to do, look, you can even hear him laugh in this song. So there's that sort of touch of humour there. I love the fact that this is recorded in a single night and you can feel the the bottle of red wine and, and you know, who knows what else is, is flowing through there. It gets loose, but it's, you know, a needed uh, new element to Dylan's persona and, and his career at this point in time. There's not a lot of um, missteps on here for me. Ballad in Plain D, I think, is is probably the one Dylan would regret writing the most. It's a fairly naked um, exploration of his breakup with Susie Rotolo. And it's, it's not easy to hear. It's an eight-minute uh, dirge. But I don't think it does anyone any favours, really. But the rest of the album to me, is is just really, really good stuff. So very pleased to get this. This is an Australian press, but I remember we have, yeah, okay. It is a 1970s repress, just the orange straight CBS label in Australia. Um... And I think that's about all I've got for that and for everyone tonight. Thank you so much for checking in, everyone. Um, really do appreciate it. Uh, we've just been listening to Tyres Van Leer from Focus. There's some lovely stuff there as well. Cheers to you. Cheers to our uh, mister who would have had his 75th birthday just last week. Um, always sadly missed. And last of all... Cheers to every one of you out there in the VC. Thank you so much again. I uh, hope to be back with you very soon. And in the meantime, keep doing all the great things you do.